Yeah. And inside of 10 minutes, we're each convinced that we're using miserably unhappy lives. So we declare a complaining fast. Nobody can complain about anything. And you know what happens when complaining is not an available option? You start to appreciate things you overlook. A man once told me the following story. He had come home from work, and he had gone into his 10-year-old daughter's room, and it was messy, so he yelled at her for being messy. At the dinner table, she exhibited poor table manners, so he snapped at her for her bad manners. He asked her if she had done her homework. She hadn't, so he was annoyed. Later, she did her homework and showed it to him, and it had errors in it, and he also was critical. He lied to bed thinking, if my boss treated me the way I treated my daughter, I feel that he thought I was an utter incompetent. So he decided for 48 hours he was not criticized anything about his daughter, and he said what happened was he got in touch with all the things that he loved about her. Complaining is addictive and it's poisonous because we then become so conscious of all the behaviors of other people that get on our nerves and we walk around like prosecutors waiting for them to commit it. You know, waiting for them to say, oh, again, you're doing it again. You know, so somebody can never get out of that situation of being criticized. So here again, Doing the right thing turns out to be the right thing to do. Because people who learn to stop complaining actually become happier. Now, if you ask most people in life, is it important to you to be happy? What would you rather be happy or rich? Overwhelmingly, people would say, happy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you actually judge their behavior, they won't do it. If you tell them, if you practice these and these behaviors, you'll become a happier person, they won't do it. Ironically, if you said to them, you will be paid $200 a day if you practice these behaviors, they'll do it. So the question is, if we're serious about wanting to be happier people, it turns out being a better person and refraining from certain activities will actually end up making you happy. By the way, I'll give you just one more example, and then I want to move into some teachings as well about the Rebbe that I was talking about. And one of the questions I asked last night when I was uh, when I was in Ames was I asked these students there, how many so I'll ask I'll ask I'll ask you, how many of you were at my talk last night? Okay, this is the good. I'm happy this okay, this row. <laughs> this row gets an A. Okay. <laughs> so okay, so you'll remember this, but I asked them, how many of you wish I'm asking you, how many of you wish you had better control over your temper? How many of you are seated next to someone you wish had better control? <laughs> <laughs> and so what I offered as a suggestion last night was to people, if you follow one rule, you will never again say something when angry that will cause an irrevocable break in a relationship. 